Mr. President, I have listened very carefully to my friend from Iowa, and I couldn't disagree with him more. I know he has very strong views about uh, the nomination of Tom Perez, but let me go through the record. I want to spend a little bit of time talking first about Tom Perez. I know him very well. Uh, and before I start, Mr. President, uh, I would ask, I have 13 unanimous consent requests for committees to meet during today's session of the Senate. They have been approved by the majority and minority leaders. I ask unanimous consent that these requests be agreed to and these requests be printed in the record. Without objection. Mr. President, I know Tom Perez. We have served together in government in Maryland. He served on the county council of Montgomery County. I mentioned that he's the first Latino to serve on the county council of Montgomery County. Montgomery County, which is very close to here, is larger than some of our states. It's a large government and has very complex problems. He served with great distinction on the county council. And as, as the presiding officer knows, that's a very difficult responsibility to serve for local government. You have you've got to deal with the day-to-day -day problems of the people of our community. He served with such distinction that he was selected to be the president of the council, the head of the council in Montgomery County. Uh, he then went on uh, to become the secretary of labor and licensing and regulation under Governor O'Malley in the state of Maryland, very comparable to the position that President Obama has appointed him to as Secretary of Labor uh, in his cabinet. It's very interesting. As, as Secretary of the Labor, Licensing and Regulation, he had to deal with issues that are very difficult issues that can divide groups. But instead, he brought labor and business together and resolved many issues. It's very interesting in his confirmation process Business leaders and labor leaders came forward to say this is the right person at the right time to serve as Secretary of Labor in the Obama administration. I, I held a, a press a briefing with the former head of the Republican Party in Maryland, and he was very quick to point out that Tom Perez and him didn't agree on a lot of policy issues. But he's a professional, he listens and tries to make the right judgment. And that's why he should be confirmed as Secretary of Labor. That was the former head of the Republican Party in Maryland uh, who made those statements just a, a few months ago. Tom Perez has a long history of public service. Uh, he served originally in the Department of Justice in, in many different capacities. He started in the Department of Justice uh, uh, he uh, served in, in uh, the Civil Rights Division and, of course, later became the head of the Civil Rights Division. He helped us in the United States Senate, serving as staff person for Senator Kennedy. And I think the greatest testimony of his effectiveness is how he's taken the Civil Rights Division from a division that had lost a lot of its glamour a lot of its uh, objectivity under the previous administration and is returning the Department of Justice to that great institution to protect the rights of all Americans. Look at his record in the Department of Justice. Enforcement of the Shepard Bird Hate Crimes Prevention Act. 141 defend defendants on hate crimes in the four years. That's a 74% increase. 194 human trafficking cases. That's a 40% increase. We could talk a good deal about what happened between 2004 and 2008 with Countrywide Financial Corporation, one of the nation's largest residential mortgage lenders, engaged in systematic discrimination against African American and Latino borrowers by steering them into subprime loans or requiring them to pay more for their mortgages. I, I know the pain that that caused. I've met with families that should have been in traditional mortgages that were steered into subprime and they lost their homes. Tom Perez represented them in one of the largest recoveries ever. Division settlement in the 2011 required Bank of America, now the owner of Countrywide, to provide $335 million 
dollars in monetary relief to more than 230 victims of discriminatory lending, the largest fair lending settlement in history. That's the record of Tom Perez as the head of the Civil Rights Division. The division investigated Wells Fargo Bank, the largest residential home mortgage lender in the United States, alleging that the bank engaged in a nationwide pattern of or practice of discrimination against minority borrowers by placing, again, some private loans. The division settlement, the largest per victim recovery ever reached in a division lending discrimination case, required Wells Fargo to pay more than $184 million to compensate discrimination victims and to make a $50 million investment in home buyers assistance programs. And Mr. President, I could go on and on and on about the record that Tom Perez has done in his public service, at the county level, at the state level, at the federal level. He has devoted his career to public service and has gotten the, the praise of conservatives and progressives, Democrats and liberals, business leaders, labor leaders. That's the person that we need to head the Department of Labor.